In example five, our last example, we're going to look at open response questions, mainly open response, which are numerical data, not qualitative type data from interviews. Now, open response questions are generally used for factual type questions. So, for example, what's your age in months? How many years have you worked at your job? What age do you plan to retire? And these are left open for a participant to write in a particular number. Now, sometimes these kinds of questions are also used with categorical responses. So, you might say, for example, what is your age in years? And you have 18 to 24, 25 to 30, etc. Or at what age do you plan to retire? 60 to 62, 63 to 64. And if you choose to do it that way, that's perfectly fine. It just means that your data is categorical rather than numerical. Now, when you use open responses for opinions or preferences, so you may have an open-ended question where you say, please explain, or can you give your opinion about this or your preference about that, and you're trying to get more information from a, a participant, um, it can be more difficult to tabulate and analyze. And to be honest, SPSS may not be the right software for you to use. In addition, the question may not be answered correctly. So if someone doesn't understand what you're trying to ask, the response they give will be invalid and it will not be useful to you. It also may not be answered at all. I don't know about you, but I don't particularly like open-ended um, questions. I find them difficult to answer on the spot, so I usually don't answer them at all. And that may happen to you if you have open-ended um, questions. If possible, if you have an open-ended question that has a fairly simple response, it may be possible for you to reorganize them into groups. So, for example, if I had a question about what is your favorite brand, that would be fairly straightforward. I could write Apple or Ford or Evian Water or something to that effect. I've got lots of different um, brands that someone can name. And when I get the responses, I can easily um, categorize them and then code them and analyze them as categorical data. You may be able to do with that other type of opinions and preference questions, um, but if, if there's just too much information there, you may not be able to um, categorize it and you'll have to use something besides SPSS. So let's look at how we might um, lay out our data for the first three question examples I gave you. So what's your age in years? Um, how many years have you been at your job? What age do you plan to retire? Now, scale data does not have to be coded, which is great. Um, so we can just enter the raw data as it is. All right, let's look at how we um, define this variable and enter the data into SPSS. I'm going to use the third variable, which is what age do you plan to retire? I'm just going to call it retire. It's numeric. Um, I don't have any decimal places for this variable. And I'm going to type in the question. I don't need value labels because my data is not categorical or grouped. I'm not going to code missing data. Um, all I need to do then is my measure. So scale, ordinal, nominal. My data is not grouped. It's just open response numerical data, which means that it's scale rather than ordinal or nominal. I'm going to leave the role as input. Let's have a look at our data view. Let's enter some of these ages. Okay, so obviously there's no value labels attached, so I'm going to see numerical data regardless of my value labels button being pressed or not. So these are five examples of different types of questions you can have on a questionnaire and how you enter them into SPSS, define the variables, and then enter the data.